Hey, what's up, guys? Darius here, back in a Minecraft video, and today we're back on Minecraft Job Edition, showcasing a Jujutsu Kaisen mod that I've been wanting to to try out for a while. This one is called Craft Kaisen, and uh, yeah, it's basically the third one we have for Java that is actually looking pretty good. So yeah, we're actually getting a longer to say on today's video. Okay, so uh, we can see over here we have the weapons, the items, the armor, which are all looking pretty cool. We have the Toji stuff, so let's go and put that on. Looks really cool. So we even have also Maharaga armor and everything. One thing I've seen that the mobs are really cool, like very well modeled. At least Sukuna, Yuji, Goja, and Maharaga are. So we have here Sukuna Finger, we have a bunch of stuff, we have reroll your curse technique which you start off for, we have the human story mode because I chose to be a human, but we're going to look at the weapons first. So I don't believe we have any animations, but we have here, we have the inverted spear of heaven, looks pretty cool. Uh, no animations, but it does disable infinity. So if we go to Gojo, or not? Here, Gojo. Satoru Gojo Shinjiki Shulam. This is the one. Yes. So over here, we can actually hit him. We're not doing any damage, but we can hit him because of of uh, the inverted spear of heaven ability. We have we are doing some damage, but yeah. Except the split soul katana, which increases damage against cursed spirits, but does uh, and does extra damage to Mahito. But this, for example, can't hit Gojo. Now, now, bro, you okay? All right, we're gonna leave him there. Next, we have Nagi Nata. This is just a regular weapon that does uh, 16 damage. You have Yuta's Katana, also regular weapon. Miwa's, also regular weapon. We have Playful uh, Cloud, which increases knockback. And looks really, really cool. Uh, there was no need for you to do that. There, there was no need for you to do that. Domain Breaker, can I use that? No. Come on then. Can I break out? No. What if I uh, There we go. Alright, so back to back to weapons. We had uh, purple uh, playful cloud. Looks pretty cool. I like the model a lot, although it doesn't really move or have any animations, but you know. We have the blunt blade, which is for Nanami, so we're gonna go with the Nanami outfit. We probably have the Nanami Curse Technique as well, but we're going to be looking at those later. And I'm not, probably not going to look at all of them, because I think there are a lot. But yeah, so we have the Nanami outfit, looks really cool. Uh, and then we have the Blood Dagger, Blood Spear, and Blood Axe for Choso. Which... Choso, Choso... Choso? No Choso? Alright, no, I don't think... We have uh, Meguna. It's is really cool. I know, yeah, here, Choso. Boom, boom. So, yeah, we have the Choso stuff, and we have the dagger, the spear, and the axe, which probably come with the blood manipulation curse technique. Next, we have the hammer for uh, Nobara. Over here, we have the dragon bone, which we can build up curse technique, curse energy. But I'm not sure who has this weapon, though. Let me see. Okay, Maki has it. And... Oh no. Where is he? No idea. So this is Maki's weapon, and which means it's just the Toji outfit. Uh, we have the Nyoi staff for Kashimo. Also looks... I, I love the weapon models. And we have Heaten and Supreme Martial Solution for Sukuna. Which actually does look different in your offhand than in your 
in your main hat, which is, I love that. It looks so cool. Uh, and obviously we do that with the Meguna outfit. Oh, I love it. It looks amazing. Like the outfits look really, really well done. And this doesn't really do anything. Just 50 attack damage. Uh, maybe in main hand it does something. No. We have the Sword of Extermination, which is Mahoragas. Uh, over here. Where is it? Here and here. It's the full Mahoraga thing, which also looks really cool and does extra damage to Cursed Spirits, probably. And the Mahoraga wheel actually has adaptation. We have Mei Mei's Battle Axe, which is actually the right size for once. And we have the Electric Guitar, which we can infuse which, with Cursed Energy. Those are the weapons. Now, for stuff to activate the techniques, obviously you can reroll and you get the technique from the beginning. But I'm going to go with Shrine and, and Infinity. So, Shrine, 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 Suku, well, Suku now. There we go. Now, we do have controls for the stuff. And to get the menu, it's this. Is, well, I have it as G. And we have Strong Punch, which we can all unlock. And then, uh, this is the melee, the, the, wait, oh, I don't have any points, hold on. See that. Now we have it. So we can unlock the, the abilities. And then we have the next, uh, next part, which is weapon. All right, so we can have ability with, abilities with weapons, which is probably abilities, cursed energy, domain amplification, simple domain, and flow. And then we have Innate, Malevolent Trine, Dismantle, and Cle and uh, Fuga. And we can assign these to these slots, I believe. So Fire Arrow, wait. Fire Arrow, slot one. Cleave, slot two. Yeah, all right. So if you can see in the thing that it's, it's uh, starting to go. So Dismantle will be three. And Malevolent Trine will be four. So we can look at the innate abilities. And I'm going to go with Yuji's uniform, which is uh, also Sukuna's, I guess. Oh, this the scarf is really high. But let's see. So we'll take uh, an entity and we'll start using the abilities. Only thing is that the abilities are, are some keys that I'm not really sure. There we go. Now it's going to be a bit better. So, we have Fuga as our first ability, which I'm not going to use first, obviously, but Curses, Kainer, Sukuna, Rugby Fuel, Insect, I want Insect. Ever Insect? No. Hold on. Semi, Grade 1, Inventory Curse, Finger Bearer, sorry. I don't know why it's called, why is it called Insect in the other one? So, the Finger Bearer has a pretty cool model, so we're going to start with ability 2, which is... Yeah, but we do have animations. It looks so cool. I'm going to lower my volume though. It's a bit high. Now, so yeah, we have this. This is clean. Uh, which the animation is really, really cool. Like that. We have this mantle, which is six, right? Yeah, so this mantle is just... A, a slash, and we can use it to break blocks as well. Fuga, which is number four, is... Oh, hold on! It has an animation! It has a cool animation! Wait, how much cooldown do I have? There. Oh, it looks so good! And then, obviously, Malevolent Shrine for last seven here. Oh, and the effects are pretty cool. Oh, and I'm going up in grip. But the effects are really, really cool for Malevolent Shrine. It reminds me of the Minecraft Bedrock effects. And it actually has a health bar, which means that... Uh, in a case like uh, Gojo can probably break it, but I don't know if I can manually stop it. Yeah, I can. All right. So yeah, 
That is the Sukuna abilities, which are really cool. Now, on to the next ones. I think I'm going to do Gojo and then uh, restri Heavenly Restrictions. Heavenly Restriction. So, we're going to switch slash Crab Kaisen. Wait, no, hold on. Crab Kaisen. And we'll set to Limitless. We still have the abilities? Hold on. Maybe I have to switch the menu. Laps Blue here. Here we go. So, Laps Blue will be slot 1. Red will be 2. Teleport will be 3. Hollow Purple will be 4. Unlimited Way will be 6. And I believe we can actually switch to... to the Maxim. I'm not sure, but I believe we can. So for Gojo, I'm actually going to go with the actual Gojo outfit, not the Toji one. Oh, we get the blindfold ping because we don't have six eyes. But if we go take perk, no, not perk, special. Special, here's where you can get reverse curse technique, phys physically gifted, fragile body, no energy, stuff like that. But if I get six eyes, now I can actually see. And I'm not sure if six eyes actually gives me. No. All right. So slot one, laps blue. We have it over here. So we can sneak, uh, sneak to push. Hold on. And sneak plus charge to pull. I mean, I'm trying to do it. Sneak plus charge. Oh, is there a charge thing? Charge curse energy. So let's see. Sneak plus Z to, to pull. Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right. So sneak is just pull. And then this is the one you can move around. All right. All right. All right. I see it now. But how do I stop it? With four? Yeah. Okay. Also, I don't know why my cursed energy went down, but there we go. Next, we have red. Also, red doesn't have an animation yet. Is that an impact frame that I just saw? Hold on. Yo, it has impact frames. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so then we have teleport. Uh, six. We have a cool effect as well, I think. Yeah. All right. And then we have we have hollow purple. Which doesn't have an animation either. Hearts, zero. Cursing, zero. What? Do I have to charge it? Is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. Oh. But we have Infinite Void as well. That has actually the startup. Uh, and it looks really cool. I don't know why purple isn't really working. But yeah, so Infinite Void over here. And as you can see, I think my curse energy is going down. Well, no, not that much because I have a lot of it. But And then we can break it. Yes. We can break it, but this effect is still here for some reason. I've tested it out one time, and yeah. So, seven, hollow purple. I don't know if... Heart zero, curse energy zero. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is, though. Maybe this? So, yeah, no idea what that zero heart, zero... Zero health thing is. Maybe shift? Nah. I have really no idea. But, so that's Gojo. Uh, we're going to leave that there. Let's go uh, Craft Kaisen. And now we're going to go Technique. Let's see. What do we have? Adaption. Copy, Limitless, Inverse, Missile Oh, Private Pure Love Train. 10 shadows, we'll do 10 shadows, obviously. Uh, 
and then uh, special uh, nothing. Well, just well, I guess reverse cursing me. So let's go here, and we have white divine dog, toad, great serpent, maximum elephant, ride, escape, new wave, round deer, divine maharaga, and agito. And the domain. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a lot. So white divine dog one. We won't do toad. We'll do great serpent. We'll do rabbit escape. New it for sure. Not round deer. We'll do maharaga and we'll do. Hmm. Guess we'll do shadow guarded and then we'll change agito. But so. We have, uh, where's uh, the just sorcerer thing? Oh, we could go with Maguna, though. Maguna. Right. So, we have uh, white, divine dog white. All right. It's pretty good. Oh, maybe the hollow purple is because it's an entity. Because here it says uh, hearts, maybe because it's six eyes. Oh! Okay, it's all making sense now. So hollow purple was not anything. And to send them back, do I just yeah, alright. So let's see our great serpent. Oh the model is cool. And I can can I write it? Well I mean it looks like I can, but it's not really working. I send them back? No. Not really working now. Rabbit escape. It's just one rabbit. Oh, I'm taming him. Oh, I'm, I can do that. Is that how I tame him? No. Can I just spam rabbit escape? No. Oh, we can go to like an actual like cool boss. All right. What is your new way? No, yeah. So we have Nui. Oh, Nui looks really cool. And Nui we can... Well, sort of, right? I guess. And I can... I can't send them back. How do I send them back? Well. And then we have Maharaga. No. With this treasure. Oh! Oh! All right, so now that we're here, I can actually take advantage of this to actually throw in Sukuna. So... Oh, we actually have the Sukuna thing. Oh, I should have used that. Here we go. Wait, who's here? Ryom and Sukuna. Yeah, so look at the model. The model looks really cool. And he is using attacks. But he doesn't really have any animations. Oh. Oh, wow. Then you lost your left arm. Yo, what? What? This can happen? How do I use reverse curse technique? Curse energy. Simple domain flow. Simple domain flow. Innate. Melee. I can't. Yo! That's so cool that you can use body but I don't know, reverse curse technique. It's about to be cool, isn't it? Left arm regenerate. That nah, I love it. That's so cool. Alright, and then finally we have I'm gonna flash kill, but I it's because I tamed Divine Dog. I haven't tamed uh the rest, right, that's why it's not worth all right. It makes sense, makes sense. But uh so we saw there Sukuna in this mod does not beat Maharaga. Maybe because it's one finger, I don't know. But we have domain expansion. Domain expansion. Is it working? Maybe maybe it's work in progress. Innate. OK, 
Come here, Shadow Garden. Slot 6. M maybe the 9 doesn't work. Uh, I'll change it to slot 5. No. I know, yeah, this is the Shadow Garden. Alright, alright, alright. But it doesn't have an animation like the rest of them. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. So, that's gonna be Sukuna. Well, not Sukuna, 10 Shadows. And then finally, we're gonna go with Heavenly Restriction. Physically Gifted. Alright, so we have no Curse Technique, as you can see. The Curse Technique bar is gone. And we don't have any innate, so I'm gonna wait to kill myself, maybe. No, that doesn't work. But still, we're gonna go with the Toji thing. And this is where we show the actual physical attacks. So we have melee, we have strong punch. We have a grab. We have a punch barrage. We have a slam. We have a throw. And a critical jab. And a follow-up punch as well. So... First, strong punch. Alright, this is just a regular micro punch animation. We have a grab, which I'm gonna put, I guess, a husk. Husk over here. And we'll have a grab. Oh, and I can move him, and then I can punch him. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. So then we have punch barrage. Oh, the, the particle effects are cool. But I think that's only if you hit something. We have slam. Wait, may I have to jump? Ah, no. It has a bit of delay. We have this, which I forgot what it was. Throw. Oh, wait. Are you sure that's not slam? No, that was a throw. And then nine. No, that's the throw. Why can't I move? So what is the last one I did? Is that the super strong punch? Let's see. Oh, maybe that's a critical jab. And then we have the follow-up punch, which is what we're going to use right now, which is this. Oh, hold on. Does that just... Target? Or... Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So, there's that, and then we have the weapon attacks, which I'm gonna use Inverted Sphere of Heaven, Split Soul, and Playful Cloud for them. So we have, let's go into here, see if it's different. Melee, Weapon, Rapid Slices, 1. Battle Sword Drawing, we can't do that. Well, yeah, we can do that with a uh, thing. Blade Counter, Rapid Slices, oh wait, no. Wait, that's just it. That's it. Alright, alright. Restricted. Oh, we have actual things. Restricted and blitz. And behind you. Oh, oh, that's going to be cool to see. Okay, so we'll go husk again. No, actually, we'll go vindicator. So, we have the first one. Which is... Uh, sword draw. No, rapid slices. Okay, that's basically the main breaker, I guess. Well, if you look at it in some way. We have... Oh, wait, no. Is that it? Yeah. That's... Where is it? Battle sword drawing. That's battle sword drawing. Then we have blade counter. Guard. How do I guard? Hold on. I can't. Total curse technique special. Oh, maybe that's for six size. Menu imbued. Oh, second move set is the thing I have on the on the thing, right? Where that it says locked, I think. So we have the blade counter, which. I know I have to counter, but I won't be there. And now we have Blitz. You turn to Blitz inside a block. Hold on. Blitz. 
yeah all right let's just say a blitz and then we have behind you which i'm going to use in the sphere of heaven for yeah all right you just teleport and then hold on i i have a cooldown but i don't know how long the cooldown is Hold on. Here? And then behind you? Yeah, so now we're making only do it once. But that would be physically gifted. And I believe that's all of the ones I'm gonna show today. Uh I really like the um, the the mod. Ah wait, I'm missing something. Uh mobs. So we saw the thing. I believe the ones that are 3D. Oh, copy jutsu actually has jutsu. Copy technique actually has Rika, so we'll show that as well. And then we're gonna be done. So all the Rika, the their Yuta codes are pretty cool. Set day. And then we have Krav Kaisen Technique Copy. And now we have a Yuta. So go here. Our curse energy. Uh Kraft Kaisen. That curse energy. Bro, I'm not physically gifted anymore. Now I should be able to get the curse energy. There we go. So and I'll, I'll raise my level. There we go. So, uh, over here we have Robinson with Cursor, we have Innate. We have nothing in Innate. Oh, maybe. Okay, I know. So it's this. Is it? Gain my trust. Okay. How do I do that? All right, I looked for everything. There's nothing that lets me use uh, this ring, but uh, I yeah, I do I do so have the thing, but the innate doesn't have anything. Melee weapon, cursed energy, innate. No, nothing. But I'm not sure if you can imbue the katana. No, it's work in progress. All right, but yeah, don't know why you doesn't work. Rika was pretty cool, but maybe I can spawn her. But now on to mob. So we have all of the variants of Sukuna. We have to see Meguna and uh, Sukuna Hayanera. And then I believe we have Jogo. For the ones that actually have different stuff. Ryoma Sukuna, Red Serpent, Heinera, Kyoga, Inue. Maybe Mahito and Hanami have some. Toji might have him. Well, we'll see, we'll see. But so, Meguna, he looks really cool. Uh, Toji, okay, so Toji just has, uh, why is, why is Toji winning? So yeah, he basically just fights with 10 shadows and thing, I don't know when he pulls out Makaraga. Oh, all right, so we just killed him now. So we have that. Gojo. No, Gojo is in 3D. Uh, we have Mahito. He's not. Jogo. Jogo is. Hey, and Sukuna looks absolutely amazing. 
Why is there two of them? Who spawned the shrine? No idea. But yeah, the mobs are cool. I'm out of range. So yeah, so we... So you have Meguna over here. We have Heianera Sukuna. They all look really, really good. The Sukuna models are the ones that, that look the best. And then we have Gojo. I don't... Hanami? Oh, okay, Hanami is 3D, but he doesn't look... I mean, it looks good, but nothing compared to these two. So, yeah, that is great. <laughs> yo, yo, really? Hold on. Uh, reverse curse technique. Give me my leg back. So, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this video on the Crab Kaisen mod. It, it's pretty cool. I like, I, I like it. It has really cool animations, mobs, and stuff. Uh, and I didn't showcase all the curse techniques, so I don't, I haven't seen all of it, but still, it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the notification bell so you miss any videos. And if you have any questions, want to enter the future, be with Java or better, make sure you leave them in the Discord server, link will be in the description, as well as a link to, no, wait, there is no Discord server. That is going to take a while for me to fix, but, um, and... If you have any sessions, leave them in the comment section and the link to the to the mod will be uh, in the description. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Darius out.